You have your Schoology course created, you have your course photo, and you have folders. So now it's time to add content. I like to start by adding links. Links could be Google Presentations, Google Docs. It could be even to maybe like another source, like maybe an Edpuzzle. It could be a website. It could even be like for myself, maybe my YouTube channel. So I like to add those first and to my folders. So go to your Schoology course. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to link this presentation so I can click and I can copy this whole link or I find it better to go to share and go down to here and just hit this where it says or click this where it says copy link and this is if it's a Google presentation or a Google slide. I'm going to go back to course information. I'm going to click on where it says add materials then add file link external tool. It is a link. And I'm just going to drop that, so I'm going to hit Command C, oops, sorry, Command V, and that drops the link in, so Command V. Then I'm going to title it Schoology, I actually titled it already before, so Schoology Presentation. Here is where, again, I could individually assign it to one student, so you just type in the student's name. That's pretty unlikely, but I have had that happen where I have one item for one student. You could also copy to other courses. I'll actually show you that I like to link all my courses together so all these advanced chemistry classes will be linked together. If not, you can click those and it'll add it and you can put it in a folder if a folder is already sitting there. Um, the last thing you could do is you can either publish or unpublish it right away, but you can always change that. So I'm going to hit um, add or click on the add button and you'll see that it goes into this folder. And then again, maybe you made a mistake. I was typing, you know, had a lot of typos yesterday, so you could go back and hit edit. You can also unpublish it here. You can again have all those other choices. Um, you can copy to another course still, so you've got a lot of options even after you've made it, so don't panic. You can do save to resources or you can just delete it uh, completely. And you can also move it to another folder if you wanted to. So that's, just, that's it. So that's the easiest way to add a... Um, a link. Now, links can be in many places. So let me just show you all the other places you could put a link. So in your in your actual folder, you could type in a description here, and so you could say that this includes a um, you know maybe I even have the Schoology presentation. Back to not typing well. Maybe I do. I definitely am not typing well again today. Maybe I'm going to add my syllabus here. Uh, maybe my website, and maybe even my YouTube channel, etc. So you could even link it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that you could highlight this, and then you will then choose this insert content link. And it, what's nice is it types it in there if you highlight it. And then I did Command uh, V again, insert. And then that's linked into the actual description. So let me hit save and show you. So there, there's another way, so students could either open it up and go to the presentation, or if they don't want to open it up, you can just click on it. Either one of these will go to the presentation. In here, though, what will happen, the one thing that is nice about having it in the folder, is if a student does not want to open up a new tab, like see how that one opened up a new tab, many things will load inside of Schoology, so they won't have to, I'm actually going to close this one so that it loads here, for the video's sake. So inside of here, it'll show up, and then students can just view or work on it from there. They can still choose to open up in a new tab. That's what this is right here. This square with the arrow is going to open it up in a new tab. All right, so I'm going to close that just because I don't want all these things loading and slowing this down for the video. Um, the next thing is in the updates is another place you can do links. So whenever you see the, the little, you know, little chain link thing, it's the same thing everywhere. So here you can do this in the updates, which I'll talk about making update later. The other thing you can do is when you start making uh, assignments or events, do you have that option again? So here's the link. You can link it there. Um, you can also choose it again here. There's so many places, and it's down here also. So it's like you can find that link icon a lot of places in Schoology. All right, so that's it. So I like to add all my links in first um, to things that I want students or you know members of my group to go to. All right, so that's it. So I hope that that helped. I hope it's a quick tutorial in adding links and all the different places that you can add links in Schoology. Good luck, teachers. Keep up the good work.